Hey there, welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're gonna be doing a little walk around on a 1956 Bel Air. It's a pretty awesome looking car. I love the color scheme. It's got a 350 under the hood with power steering, AC, disc brakes in the front, lots of chrome and polished accessories all up under the hood. Aluminum radiator. Get the disc brakes set up. Drum in the rear. I do have detailed pictures of this. Go and check that out at maplemotors.com. That's also where you can get financing and shipping information and all of my inventory, so definitely go check that out. This one's got a tricked out trunk. This is all metal. Very cool. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. I post videos like this all the time. We get classic cars in pretty much daily. I know we've actually picked up four new ones today. So check out the test drive video. We just, we just pulled up in the parking lot. I was making the test drive video. We're gonna start up here in the front. Fairly new chrome bumper around the front. The grill is nice and clean. A lot of the trim's been replaced. It's sharp, shiny. Craigers. New tires. I'm going to be looking for any kind of flaws so you know exactly what you're buying when you get here. So any kind of chips, Bondo, scratches, anything I see, I'm going to let you know. There's some chips in the corner of the door here. Y'all can see that. I'm just gonna run the bottom of the car and then we're gonna come back. There's a dimple right there. Below the passenger, or above the passenger tire. Now we're gonna come back down the middle of the car. There's a slight dent in the trim, very small. Door handles have been replaced. You got a chip right here in the trim, or right above the trim. Mirrors have been replaced. Hood is in great shape. Guess they had this fabric glued it came down still looks pretty good a little saggy on the sides do a little touching up the bumper on the back looks fairly in fairly good condition not definitely not new if you get close see some light scratches dual exhaust out the back trunk is just completely tricked out this is one of those that's got the gas tank behind the light i think <laughs> it's supposed to open it was just nice and tight that's all it was very cool the legend let's look up under this They've got a wood compartment here. There's your battery. Oh, a kill switch. Love it. For storage. Very cool. Weather stripping around the trunk lid. Looks like it's in good shape. Seals up nicely. A 
Looking down this side here. Pretty good shape. Let's run the bottom of the car and then we'll come back through the middle. I'll stop when I see something. Like this right here. It's not exactly right. It's like a little bubble up under the paint or just a little bit too much paint there. Coming on down. Got a bubble right here in the bottom of the door. Everything else looks pretty solid. There's a scratch right here. All right, we're gonna go back down the middle now. That'll buff out, light scratch there. Same with this one, it'll buff out. It actually just wipe off. Looking for anything, guys. Just like this. Looks like glue. That that should come off. That's glue. It's up here as well. A little piece up in the corner there. Got some scuff marks on your trim here. There's a dent right here. A little bit of a bubble. Edges of your hood have got some paint chips missing. Something to watch out for. It's just where it hit, you know, knocked the paint off, but. They cut this so that they could fit the hose on the radiator. All right, we've walked all the way around this one. Let's go ahead and check the interior out. We'll get her started up and some undercarriage shots. Door panel looks pretty good. It's got some shoe marks down here where people have kicked it trying to get in and out of the car because it does this on you. It tries to shut on you. Weather stripping around the door looks new, or fairly new. It's in good condition. We'll look at the underside of the door here. A couple paint chips. Nothing major. The jam there looks pretty good. The carpet's a little dirty here in the corner. The seat's not all ripped up. It's in good shape. Nice steering wheel. Go ahead, place your bets. You think the horn works on this one? Back seat looks pretty good. Package tray's in good shape. Headliner looks great. Go ahead and start her up. Oh wait, there's a switch under here for the ignition. All right, we're gonna try some stuff out here. Try the radio out. You've seen it had that big old stereo system back here. Radio does work. AC. Working. Compressor just kicked on, pulled down on the motor. Blowing out these two vents on both sides here. Showing 62,000 miles, or 63,000 miles on the dash. Can't stand behind that because of the year of the car. Windshield wipers. The switch just feels dead. I don't think the switch is working. Just spinning freely. 
and it's not allowing the windshield wipers to come up. Did y'all place your bets on the horn? The horn does work. Got a decent sound in exhaust. This one's got kick panel speakers in the floor. like the motor's got a little bit of a noise coming from a lifter over here. It's definitely strong during the test drive. Lots of new stuff. Real pretty. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and shut the hood down and give y'all some undercarriage shots. Check out maplemotors.com for close to 100 detailed pictures of every car on the lot. Hood does shut down nice and easy. It's already shut now in the lot. Your electric fans kicking on. See some chips on the edges of this side. That's what I was talking about on the side of the hood. So it may come around. Got a couple popping up here as well. All right, we're gonna look under this car. Like I said, look at those detailed pictures on my website. Right, guys i appreciate y'all watching get ready to get back to the test drive video uh, i'm doing probably five or six cars today so be looking for all these videos you can check us out maplemotors.com for financing and shipping information close to 100 detailed pictures wheels tires parts accessories all of our inventory is updated every monday so definitely go and check that out if you have any other questions i'll try to help you out you can comment below and I do appreciate y'all watching. Thanks again, guys. Hey, don't forget, hit subscribe. <laughs>